What is up all you YouTube viewers and YouTube fans? It is me and yours truly, Bram Murphy, here on YouTube. Also known as you folks may know me from my Twitch channel or Twitch name. Under LP Brandon over there at twitch.tv. Remember it both so you will have to at some point, some way, some which, and some what. And today folks, um, I am redoing, that's right folks, I am redoing, uh, my top characters in Danganronpa who has been executed and also that I care and don't care. Alright, so that being said, let's go, let's run this bullshit and so on and so forth. Yeah? Yeah. Let's see now, where was that damn video? I know it's there. I know it's around. It has to be. Because if it wasn't around, how could I make my point? I need to make my point in order to make this point happen. Um, where is it? Oh, this could take a while. Yep, this could really take a while. Oh, boy. Perhaps this is a bit too long. Ah, this... Gosh, how I would like right now if Scat... that Scatman song was on right now. This could really help me out by finding the one video that I'm trying to find here and trying to make for my reactions and whatnot. But I'm just not seeing it. I'm really and literally not seeing it, fam. Here it is. Okay. Alright, so, without further ado, folks, let us jump into my reaction. Uh, my. Let us go over my top characters that I love. That has been executed, and, th and also those that I love and care. and don't care about. Alright? So yeah, property, display zero, display one, there we go, boom, and let's go. <laughs> and yes, keep in mind folks that this is there's going to be some spoilers, so here we go. My, this top one, this top person, the first person that I, that I love to see being executed, but I don't care about this guy, is Leon Kawada, who is an, who is a ultimate baseball star, and he, and here's the closing argument. 
Say for example, this is my room, and this is, and the other room is my is my buddy's. All right. So my buddy comes into my room and say, shit like, yo, can we switch rooms? I'm, get, I have this, I have this kind of urge or this kind of feeling that I'm gonna be. No, that I'm gonna have. I'm gonna. Well, that is just not gonna be comfortable for them. So I'll be like, whoa, dude, okay, chill the fuck out first, and then explain to me what's going on. So after your guys' room's been switched, let's say Leon Kawada comes in, goes into your room, guys. And kills ya. How are you gonna defend yourselves? So, well, there are a couple things that you can defend yourself. One, you can defend yourself with a fucking frying pan. Two, you can defend yourself with a fucking goddamn sword. But no, in this one, they use a nut. In Dungan, in this Dungan Rumpa series, and every other series, they had to use knives and swords and even guns to kill themselves. And that's not cool. In fact, that's just bad, bro. That's just really bad. So, what do we do? So, after that, your... Your life becomes like... Uh... Your life becomes exactly like this here. Kind of like Sayaka. Your life becomes like Saika who dies, and I'm in the other room finding out what the hell is going on, and then what else? You get you try and get rid of evidence that was yours, but oopsie! Looks like I found one evidence that has spoiled. That has killed you, buddy, and that is this pen. Oh, how's that? How dreadful! How excruciating! So you know what? I'm glad that Leon's getting his punishment. I'm glad, actually, because it's it's not. I mean, it is sad. Don't get me wrong, folks. It's sad, but these are his punishments for. Killing or be killed type of punishment or executing people. So, what's the first execution that Leon Kawada gets? Well, of course, he gets hit. He gets punished by over, I don't know, let's say one over thousands of um, baseballs. And oh yeah, believe me folks, when I say baseballs or softballs, they they hurt. No joke. I one time lent my some of my baseball bat and baseball gl And look what happened to me. I ended up getting hit on this or this shoulder and I had to go see a fucking doctor for it. So it wasn't fun. But this this is over a little too much for getting just hit by one baseball or one softball ball to your shoulder, fam. It gets really sad. But, in my opinion, I'm glad that this guy gets it. Really, I am. Because look at all of all that blood battery. Oh, boy. See? Ugh. Nasty. So, next, my favorite character, Chihiro Fujizaki, or Fujiyama, gets killed. Why, film? Why, film? Must you die, film? I don't show. I don't. Okay, I had it right the second time. But, anyways. Yeah. My second character, Fu. Chihiro Fujizaki died. And that I'm not happy about. Because I honestly love that character. 
I really do. So what do we get into? We get to now next Mondo's um execution and punishment. Well, yeah. And here's a quick story. Here's a quick clo closing argument. So say for example again. And this is actually different guys. This is going to be a different buddy, okay? As an example. Say I'm in the boys room. Well, my other mate is using the girls room. But how how can you folks use the girls room or use the boys room? Well, it's simple. My buddy is a transgender. And yes, I'm saying the word transgender, folks, because for those of you out there that are a boy who thinks they are a girl, or a girl who thinks they are a boy, this is just, this is for you, okay? But just an example, okay? So, anyway, saying a transgender goes into your, goes into the boys' room, and they want to get buffed up. They want to become a man. Or they want... Or they... They are tired of being a wussy. They want to be tough. Like they... Like every lady and every girl... Every man out there. Wants to get, you know, ready for... A fight of their lives. They want to duke it, somebody out to their death. But this guy, Mundo and Chihiro... They're both guys and they're like, no, Mundo, Mundo's like, what? You, so, well, actually, let me put this in an example. Okay, so, say I'm, say I'm both Mundo and also Tahira. So, uh, anywho, there we go. Okay, so, just, boop. So, say, for example, folks, I'm Tahira on this side. Asking Mundo on that side to become that I'm tired of being a pussy. I'm tired of being a wuss puss. I want to become a man. I want to become a manly man and be strong, like you. But Mundo, Mundo's over, Mundo's over here saying, "Oh, you want to become a, you want to become like me? Is that what it is? You're tired. You're tired of being a pussy. You're tired of being a little." <laughs> Well, suck it up, cause I'm not teaching you shit. All right. In fact, we're gonna end this right now. Kish. And oh, that's exactly how it happened for for Chihiro and who I folks again. Who I folks love. I mean, I I folks care about my Chihiro Fujisaki's part. But what's sad? Actually. For what I'm glad about again is that this guy Mundo has is gonna be is gonna be executed. He's gonna be mur murdered, and he's now gonna get the punishment in this cold, chilling, hard blood. No. Well, yeah. Okay, it is actually hot boiled because he's gonna be inside a hot boiled. Hypnotizing cage ball of fucking death. Which, I mean, I feel sorry for Mundo, but that's Mundo's weakness right there. Is that he hates people being a man. He's tired of people being a man, or maybe he's just jealous. So here we go, we see Mundo being hypnotized, while still being inside that cage, cage ball of death. And what happens to him next? Well, there goes that. There goes Mundo. Mundo's gone. Mundo comes like, oh, I'm so dizzy, I need to, I need to rest. But how can a headmaster such as myself, Mundo come uh, rest at a time like this? See, everybody being punished. And then we first go and have it. Mondo's been turned into butter, which is gross.
So, after both of these guys been murdered, which there's a funny story about this, and a and also a closing argument. So say, I have one mate. Say like I have one buddy that. Well, actually, this involves two people. So let's say my two buds that I use as an example from a, from punishment number one and punishment number two, they both come to me and say, "Hey, we want to make a deal. If you can get, if you could hide this um, alter ego Shahiro or alter alter ego person." from this guy, and from this guy, we got ourselves a bargain, we got ourselves a deal. I'll be like, oh, so, you want both, you both want the same deal, you both want this, yeah? Well, I, I, Brandon the Gentle Bear can give you what you both want, but in exchange, I need, I need something from both of you, and that is money. And that is exactly what this character wants. This character is not just in f for killing, but they also are in for the money. They want that fame, fam. They want the whole wide world. And so that's what happened. So what happened was Celeste have set up both Kiyotaka, Ishimaru, and Hifumi Yamada to like say, I don't know, um, to go make someone be in a robot suit while Hifumi gets caught on one side. Kiyotaka has been hit on the other and in the end they both got hit together in a different room. And I'm like, dude, that's messed up. I'm not kidding, and I'm not kidding, folks. Look at this ex Look at this execution. I mean, look at all these deaths. Look at this death. Hifumi was still alive, don't get me wrong. Hifumi was still alive before he... But he... Before his death, he had a dying wish that his... That the person he killed... Him was, um... Was... That he was thinking of... Was this guy. Yasuhiro... Hagakure. Hagakure. But, who really done the killing? By none other than this guy. This person who killed everybody. And that is, and that person is Celeste. So, so yeah, game over Celeste. Have fun with your punishment. And, oh my gosh. This punishment is beautiful. It's like a hunchback on a theme reference here. That we want the gypsy girl dead. We want the gypsy girl to die and burn into ashes and dusty dust. They must, they must. So that's what this punishment is. The burning of Phasales witch. Also known as the burning of the gypsy girl. So, what happens to Celeste Ludenberg? Well, she gets. After the fire has been set, she gets boiling. She's getting boiled, boiling hot, but. So, here comes the fire truck, but what does the fire truck do? The fire truck. Runs over Celeste Lutenberg and there it goes. Celeste Lutenberg. 
And at the end, Monokum is like, Oh, we can't have fire in my school. School of Home Speak Academy, so let me extinguish the fire out. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, there's a sad full ending for this punishment for the Alter Ego. No, yes, the Alter Ego Chihiro Fujiza, Fujizaki or Fujiyama. No, wait, yeah, I had, I had the first one right. Fujizaki. So, let's say I'm in this room here, but I'm using some sort of door to blockade everybody from seeing me. How are people going to see me get, getting myself killed? Well, the answer to that is, folks, a window. And not we're not talking about any specific window. We're talking about any window. Circle, square, rectangle, oval, triangle, even... Um, hecagon. You folks name it. But anyways, it doesn't stop there, folks. There's more... To this. So, in my next top character that's been executed in all these Donkey Kong games, uh, excuse me, damn it. So, what saddens me to say this, and this is a major spoiler here for you guys, but. I only have one, no, three, three words to say about this execution, and that is, DAMN YOU, MONOKUMA, DAMN YOU, okay, that's fine, but you folks get the point, because this execution is really sad, to see Alter Ego die, and also get wrecked, because, Because this execution is called, wait for it, the Excavator Destroyer. Now, why is it called the Excavator Destroyer? Well, as you first can see, Monokuma is using the claw. To destroy the Alter Ego Monokuma and... Ouch! Look at that face of Alter Ego Mona... Alter Ego Hero Fujizaki! Oh, Oh, it's brutal! But it doesn't stop there, folks! It gets a remote room! Look at this! Look at this mayhem! Look at this destruction! Look at this execution! Oh my god! Monokuma's like, I'm going... I'm gonna go nuts! You want? You wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts, people! Oh man! And after that, it tur Monokuma turned it into what looked like a ball of himself. Oh my god! But anyways, the closing argument is like this. Say, for example, if I'm lock, if I'm clo if I locked myself in, the yep. Meaning in this room, and have nowhere else to go. What's more important for me to drink this? We, we. Okay, so. Uh, oh damn! No big surprise. So that's the closing argument right there. After. After Sakura, and we're not talking about the card captor, card captor Sakura, or any other character that's named Sakura, but this one, Sakura gets killed somehow after they, she, or he, or even they met with Toko and even 
Um, forgot their names again. Fuck. That's a hero. So. Sakura tells Akane. Sakura asks Iori to get um get themselves that um protein powder stuff for their drink like this one. But instead, what do they do? They somehow switch that protein drink powder with po with protein poison drink it like so like this once again and ugh, I am dead no big surprise and that's how it happened Now, I wanted to blame Iori for getting her friend killed, but it was actually Sakura herself that got killed because obviously she thought that Sakura, because Sakura thought that she got betrayed, or she was betrayed, but she wasn't. So, ends her sorry little life, ends both of their sorry little lives, and so on and so forth. Now, this last execution that I'm so happy about. Well, actually, no, I'm not sad about this part. Because there's two different part executions. So, say for example, the murder took place between 9 p.m. and 7 a.m. Water's... And I'm saying that I'm just saying this right now. Normally, you wouldn't see sprinklers on at nine o'clock p.m., right? Well, here, in, here where I live, it doesn't matter. Okay, it really doesn't matter what time they start. Um, but here in Dungarumpa, they do because you can't because waters don't be on at 10 which kind of sucks ball sack so you have to wait till 7 o'clock 8 in the morning to have these sprinklers and other and also wires turn on and um, lastly you would have to wait a long time for you to do that but, anyways, that's not all of it. What's more is that you have to... Is that... Say, for example, my alibi is I was here in my room, sleeping on the bed, when some unknown person comes into my room, kill... has the knife or... Um... Where was that? Damn it, where's that damn pin? Here it is. Say for example someone has a pen in their hand and they want to kill you. Now, if I woke up with that kind of strange look, look that someone was trying to kill me, I'd be like, I would call them and say, no, they would say first on the line. No, I'm wondering what's your emergency. And then I would say, Yes, hello, 911. I have a serial killer here in my room. Could you get him for me, please? They would be at your door saying, Open up, this is a place! Alright, where's the serial killer? Where's this? Where's that? But no. Here in Dunn and Rumpa, because uh, your windows are barricaded, you're and your door will, doors will be locked. You can't. This, it would, it would come down between you and the serial killer. 
All right. So, where was your other guest? Well, they weren't around, were they? So, here is Kyoko's punishment, as, as also as, as well as also, there's also, folks, yourself playing as Makoto's punishment. Okay, doesn't matter which one. But, uh oh, surprise, surprise shocker, and also surprise spoiler. If you don't get squished, which is what Alter Ego is saying. Sorry, I'm not gonna, sorry, but I'm not gonna let anyone get squished today. Not after what you have, not after what you did to Kyoto. Kyoto. Yoko get doesn't get, doesn't get squished, but he gets sent to the garbage. Shoot. And Monokuma's like, what, 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 what? He did not get squished? He, I was expecting someone to be squashed, like a pancake, so that I can eat them and so on and so forth. But nope. Actually, Makoto got sent to the garbage. Shoot. Which comes now to the theme. Same case as before, but who gets the punishment this time? The actual serial killer! Juko Inoshima! Which she's saying goodbye to everybody. Class trial is over. Class is over. Game is over. So on and so forth. And she gets everything. She gets everything, including the kitchen sink. The thousand blows, the hidden death, the burning of the gypsy girl, the excavator destroyer, that stuff that I even give it to show you guys, and the after school lesson. So there you go, folks. That's that execution and punishment right there. So yeah, that's that for part one of my top characters that has been executed and or, um, that's my, there goes my top characters that's been executed and people that I, that I care and don't care about. Okay, tune in folks for more next time. As I folks do, part two, that's right folks, part two of my execution, of my top executions that I love and executions that I care and or don't care. But until then folks, I am yours truly, LP Brandon here on Twitch, I mean on YouTube, I almost said twitch.tv. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, I am your truly folks, LP Brandon, here on Twitch. Damn it! I can't see Twitch! I'm your truly Brandon Murphy here on YouTube, also known as... You folks may know me from my Twitch channel under LP Brandon there on Twitch.tv. Saying a goodbye, a VSA, a Fonsoir, Sognora, and all that jazz. And as the artist, please sing their song, folks. <laughs> Keep it simple. Pokiki. Bye. <laughs> <sighs>